Someone sent me a bullshit list of the top nine vlogging cameras and they're all shit. I hate each one of them and we're gonna roast this list like a hot dog on a fire. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Today's amazing audio is brought to you by the shotgun mic on top of the camera within a seven foot proximity to me. And it, that's why it sounds so good. We're still using this MK, Sennheiser MKE 400. Oh boy. The original battery still, it's been like a year. Still, way to go. Was that your question? There's no questions. So somebody sent me this from Soundstripe. They're telling you the best cheap vlogging cameras. Let's see if I agree with the list and what would I replace this list with? Number one on their list, DJI Pocket 2. Not gonna lie to you, that's a pretty obvious choice. It's a good one. It's decent, it's small. It's good enough for pretty much everybody. I don't like that it has bullshit autofocus. So there's that, and tiny little complaints. I just don't like that little gimbal shit. Put it in the pocket with the fucking freak thing, and the, oh, I, I gotta remove the wide angle adapter first. Oh, it fell off. Where is it? Oh, I lost seven dollars. Number two on their list, a Canon Vixia R800 camcorder. What are you doing? That thing's like 28 mils at the minimum. No, I haven't looked it up. Didn't I used to have that thing? I swear I had that. Didn't I review it? It was the worst thing we've ever seen. It actually looked better than the Sony X3000. It had better color science. Similar shit. 57 times advanced zoom. Yeah, that always means a good thing. Thing's 350 bucks. Thing looks old and bullshit. Just get a GoPro, you freak. It has a one over 4.85 inch sensor. I didn't know they even made them that small. Like one over 2.3 is the smallest thing on earth. And then, what? It's like half Less than half the size of that bitch. Out, three megapixels. Oh God, why would this be on anybody's list for anything? 1080p max. It's a fucking 38 mil lens to 1200. What are you doing? Why is this on the list? How could you vlog with that? You need snake arms. Do you have a snake? A pet snake with your show? You have an anaconda wrapped around your wrist, breaking it slowly, and then he's extending it out? How stable is that gonna be? Not very. Number three on their list, GoPro Hero 10. Hey, you got it. That's number one on my list. Should be. It's the easiest thing you could get. As long as you rig it out with a glimmer glass filter. I have that close focusing filter on. It looks good, like, you get a slight background blur with it, but if you turn around to film something, then it's all bullshit. So I don't know how smart that was, but the glimmer glass all the way, Nikon cap, definitely. Little shotgun mic on there. You're good. Super light, I, you can't beat that thing. Good job. Number four, Canon M200. Like, what are you doing? That has no mic jack or stabilization. Why, how is that vlogging? Who makes these lists? Who's in charge? Why are you in charge? Why are you employed? Why not at least the M50 for the mic jack? Or the M6 Mark II? Step it up a notch. That's no longer cheap. I get it. But M50 is bound to be in the same price range as the M200. Give me a break. Are you seeing it? You see that? Number five? The Panasonic G100. This camera is the most insulting camera I've ever seen released. You take a perfect setup, Panasonic G85. If only it had autofocus, then it'd be the perfect vlogging camera. You don't improve the autofocus. You remove the stabilization. You add nothing. You can only use a kit lens with stabe. You're, you're stuck with a 12 to 32, and it'll still be jerky and out of focus. 
Goodbye primes. No thank you. Fuck you. Number six, Canon 80D. Big honking Canon APS-C DSLR. Old tech. No stabe. Good autofocus. What lens? The 10 to 18 that has stabe. You could do it. It's just so heavy for not much good times. There's no slow-mo. You're in focus, slightly stable. It could work. It's expensive and heavy. Fuck you. Fujifilm X-T200. Really? Have you tested it? I have. You're lying to yourself if that's on your list. The preamps. I don't know how they made it so bad, but you can't use a microphone. It's <laughs> It has no stabe, but a giant flippy screen so you can see the failure of your vlog, how shaky it is. It's like, oh wow, this looks terrible. You're going Fuji XS10 if you're looking for a budget Fuji town. That's where you head, not XT200. With that glory screen, that beautiful freaking 2.7 million dots. Oh, uh, when will we ever see it again on something useful? Imagine the X-H2 has that thing. Oh man. Number eight, Sony A6000. You gotta be kidding me with this list. Who is in charge? There's no stave in it. You don't even have a flippy screen or do you? Does it flip up? Might, I don't think it does. It could, I doubt it. It's so old, why? There's so much better by now. Even the A6400 is not that expensive, A6100 even. And they're all terrible anyway. Sony APS-C, super shaky, rolling shutter shit. Oh man, at least it's low on your list. The fact that it even made it on. Number nine, Panasonic GH5S. On the cheapest vlogging cameras list. It's the most expensive Micro Four Thirds camera you can buy. It has no stabilization in it. What are you doing? It's the worst option. You would never choose that. G9. So much cheaper and st how? Who who are you? Who what research did you do to make this list? Who gives you the authority to have an opinion? That's what I would do. Was there a meeting? Was there a meeting about this? All right, fellas, guess what time it is? Let me just check. Time for clickbait. <laughs> Let's make a clickbaity article. Top 10 vlogging camps. Best budget vlogging camps. Who wants to write this bitch? I could write it. I'll do it. I can, I've written. I wrote you an email. Did you get it? You didn't reply. Oh, it must have got sent to spam. I, I definitely would have replied to it had I saw it. So you'll write the article? Do you have any experience in vlogging? There was a vlogger vlogging outside of my house once. And I asked him to leave, but he kicked me in the throat. It hurt, like a lot. And he didn't leave. He, just, he filmed inside, he went inside my house and filmed my kid. It went viral. So you do have field experience. I like that. Do you have an idea of what the best vlogging cam, like who would win your category right now? Just out of the blue. Like, like if I was just to pick a camera to vlog with right now, you caught me off guard, but like if I was just heading out, I'm leaning Nikon D750. Going full frame, wow, DSLR. That's, a, that's an interesting choice. What brought you to that choice? It seems kind of heavy. Not much autofocus in there. No flippy screen or stabilization. Well, I read an article about seven years ago that suggested that Nikon was pretty good for sports photography. So the D750 is therefore best for vlogging. 
It's not that you're fired. It's just in order to enter the building now, you require a double injection from the thing and a password, which I'll email you. You're fired. So some interesting choices on that list. There was a couple good ones. The GoPro 10, DJI Pocket 2, decent. Everything else, just abysmal. Absolutely abysmal, embarrassing. If it was me, I would also agree. GoPro 10, if you're just getting started, if you don't have the money for this, you're raised on a farm or something. DJI Action 1, easy does it. Same basic results, not quite as polished but decent enough. If you want to step up to the mirrorless world, you're looking Olympus. You're looking Olympus, you know the answers. You watch the Q and A's. Olympus EM5, Mark III, why is my voice doing this? <laughs> but really, I would stick in the action cam territory if you're actually just vlogging. Like it's such a dumb thing to do. Every time I do it outside, I feel like a moron. So it's stupid. Don't bring too much attention to yourself. Just have a little thing. If you have this big thing with a big mic on it, furry and shit, people are like, what are you filming? Hi, mom. Your mom's not watching, bitch. All you gotta focus on is, is the image stable? Am I in focus? Does the audio sound good? Then pretty much you're good to go. Anything else outside of that is just extras. Slow motion, a little bit. Hey, how you doing? That's it, we're done. Thank you so much for sending me that bullshit article. We had fun. We had fun. Thank you for thumbing up the video and buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. While well, you're down there. Affiliate links, they're available. Oh, Amazon shop, what gear do I use? Hmm. How about ask a comment down below instead of looking in the fucking description where all YouTubers keep their gear. Calm down. They just wanna know. I'm gonna leave. Check the description.